fiancé, 29M, is not interested in being intimate with me, 24F, after I give birth to our child. He says that he just can't see me the same. Apparently now that I became a mother his view of me completely changed. Is this some Madonna, W complex psychology thing or what? Anyways, in all honesty, it's been taking a serious toll on my mental health and I can't even talk about it or share it with my friends or family, mother, sisters, cousins, because it's genuinely humiliating. I also know it's something they didn't experience, and they'd probably tell me to just leave him, which isn't what I want. I love him. Our wedding is scheduled to happen this year and settled for and our child is 6 months old. Yeah, we went through 6 months without having sex. As if having a child for the first time isn't exhausting as it is. I also had to carry the weight of my relationship being in crisis and feeling absolutely terrible. And undesirable. Our sex life prior to me giving birth was the healthiest. It took a 180 degree turn in change afterwards. Even during my pregnancy it wasn't bad. I know this isn't something usual. Men don't just lose interest in their partners after they give birth. Obviously it's some psychological thing for my fiancé here. And I know what you might be thinking. That perhaps it's on me and I haven't took care of myself after pregnancy and neglected my appearance. But that's not the case at all. I got back to the weight I was at before giving birth very fast. I take care of myself and my how I look daily. Hair done. Nails done. Dress nice. To add. Everything else between us is the same. We have smooth conversations. He gives me compliments. Kisses me. Treats me well. Just refuses to being intimate with me. It's like he's holding me on a pedestal and can't acknowledge that I'm a sexual being anymore just because I became a mother. I'm looking for a way to solve the problem. It's causing a dilemma in our relationship and I can't imagine spending a lifetime sexually repressed. Counseling is a must. We've already talked about it and are going to go through it. I just can't help but believe I need to do something else prior to that. And I'm honestly thinking that an open relationship where we'd both see other people for a while might drastically help us. It would for sure shatter the false illusion he has of me in his head. Any advice would be appreciated. And I'd also really like to know if there's anyone out here who experienced something similar? It has nothing to do with how you look. Opening your relationship is a terrible idea. If you are going to do that, you might as well leave him. Because if he's not sexually attracted to you now, he will only find someone else to give his affection to and replace you with. You would only be adding to your relationship issues and wouldn't be solving anything. Marriage is not a good idea. At least not until you get into counseling and work on things. Marriage only amplifies issues. It solves nothing. It also makes it a lot more difficult to leave when, if you figure out things won't improve. Here's what you don't do. Marry him. Push back the wedding. This needs to be fixed or you need to move on. Yes. It's some sort of Madonna complex or he's found someone else since you went six months without sex. Or both. Yes. An open relationship will likely shatter the false illusion he has in his head. But it will also shatter the relationship in its entirety. The solution isn't suddenly initiating an open relationship while you may think it'll be progressive for him to acknowledge that you are a sexual being who is capable of having sex with others. With his kind of MW complex, it's more likely that he will end up resenting you and being disgusted by you and thinking that you are less of a mother. And then the flip side is that he would just fulfill his sexual needs with other women and only further attribute you to being this untouchable, godly mother being who he doesn't want to taint now that he has had sex with different people. I would highly, highly recommend couples counseling with someone who is specialized in sex, as well as individual counseling for himself.
That is really the only thing that will actually be able to get to the core of the issue and fix this mentality. This is honestly quite a common dilemma between straight couples once the woman has a baby. While you are adamant on going through with the wedding regardless of these issues, becoming a married couple who has a kid already and is already not having sex will only further bury the relationship to some weird pit of maternal hell for yourself it will then be a completely domesticated dynamic and if all it took for him to develop this complex was you having a baby in the first place it's likely that becoming a wife on top of a mom now will completely pin the nail in the coffin altogether you shouldn't marry him for a start Try and work this out first but absolutely do not make it legal with him whilst your relationship is in a shambles. Elvis Presley had the same attitude towards Priscilla. Look how they ended up. He's looking at you now as a mother and equates it to having relations with his own mother. He needs to see a psychiatrist and a psychologist. In the meantime hold off on the marriage until he gets professional help. This thread is so bizarre. I get what you're trying to spin up. But after reading all of this, it really looks like he got an offspring and is no longer interested in you as a partner. At some point you have to realize this. Literally everything about who we are is in our head and in his head you're not his partner but his offspring's mother. The fact that you're okay with having a whole other sexual relationship is also quite telling that. On some level even you know there is no coming back from this for the two of you. Open relationships are an absolutely terrible way to fix a relationship that is in trouble. I don't even know how this became such a common belief that that is what they are for. Open relationships are something you do when your relationship is already strong and it's something both still want anyways. It's a bonus addition to something stable enough to bear more than its own weight. Not added structural support for something crumbling. To me this is a big communication issue leading to a lot of speculation. We don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. The only person who has that information is him. The position you're in right now is that if he doesn't tell you what's going on you have two problems. The lesser problem is you don't know whether or not this problem is fixable or how to do it. And the bigger problem is that you're unable to communicate well enough to be in a relationship. So do what you can to improve the lines of communication on your end. Which includes communicating strongly to him that he needs to be honest about this with you if your relationship has any chance of working. Have you and your partner had any time alone to spend together and reconnect as a couple since the birth? Going out on dates? Maybe a night alone if there's family nearby that can watch the baby? I feel like this issue pops up on Reddit a lot. And usually the advice is to find time to redate your partner. If the only time you spend together is centered around your kid then it's not surprising that he may view you in a mother role instead of fiancé. It is important to still nurture your romantic relationship and identities outside of parenthood. You can't solve his problem. It is a mistake to believe your efforts or words will make him different. He does not sound like he wants to change this. Elvis Presley had this same issue and never slept with his wife again after she gave birth. What would accepting this new reality look like for you? Could you live with the benefits you describe from this relationship that give up your expectation of sex? An open relationship is unlikely to work in the circumstances, as it is not a relationship support aid, and is more likely to weaken your bond with your partner. Or could you temporarily stay with him? Assuming you will not have sex with him again, could you remain with him for a year or two while your child is very young? Would a platonic co-parenting relationship be acceptable for those early childhood years? If not, it sounds like the relationship is over. Don't fear being alone. 
Being a sole parent has many advantages like ease of decision making. In time, you may wish to date again and find a compatible partner. I think it's a little unfair to say that this is uncommon. Actually, this is more common than you think. But the short story is couples counseling is a solution. Because your husband has turned intimacy into a him thing and not a we thing. Elvis didn't want to have sex with Priscilla after Lisa Marie was born. This is actually more common than you think. Couples counseling is pretty much your best bet and you're already doing that. An open relationship would likely be the end of your relationship. You need to postpone the wedding until you both get this issue resolved one way or another. Opening the relationship will only help further drive the wedge between you. I wouldn't even suggest it. I used to have neighbors that the husband couldn't look his wife in the face while having sex. They only ever did doggy style. It's a weird psychological thing and absolutely not a reflection of you at all. You hit the nail on the head with the pedestal observation. Maybe start with massage then bring toys into the mix. Therapy will help. Do not marry this man. You can try and stick it out if he goes to therapy but do not marry him until this is dealt with. Divorce is much more difficult than a breakup and a hell of a lot more expensive. And I'm honestly thinking that an open relationship where we'd both see other people for a while might drastically help us. This would be like lighting yourself on fire in a forest fire. It will only make it worse. I know this isn't something usual. I think you might find it is actually more common than you think. But it is just not something that is talked about much. For the very reasons you cite. If all else is well in the relationship. And you are able to set things up so that you have uninterrupted private opportunities. Things will fix themselves over time. Open relationships. Much like children will never fix a broken relationship. All it does is throw gasoline on the dying embers of the relationship. I don't know why you think the next six months will change your relationship more than the last six months. Especially since it seems like he hasn't done anything to fix the problem. You're doing more than enough but for the love of God don't marry him until this is sorted. You both just brought a person into this world and because your mentally deficient boyfriend is repulsed that said person was delivered by you the last thing you need is open your relationship. You need to slam it shut. Get to therapy ASAP. Let him care for his offspring just as much you do. This happened to my husband. It caused some issues. But we got through it. We've been married for six years now. And yes we went back to having a normal sex life. Good luck. Communication is so important. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.